welcome to Greg's Garage. Join me today as I figure out how to put power window operators from a 1999 Toyota Camry into this 1974 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Uh, the procedure for a bug should be almost identical to what it is for the Carmen Ghia. Really not that difficult guys. We're going to go to the junkyard, we're going to get the pieces and parts, we're going to fab it up, we're going to test it, and then we're going to install it in my test door. Should be fun. I went to the auto parts store yesterday and found a window motor that would work and it's out of uh, Toyotas, a bunch of Toyotas, you know, from like uh, the 90s through the 2000s. And it's also on like Geo Metros and things like that. So I got a model that I'm in search of that should fit in my door. And uh, so we wound up with uh, two motors out of a 99 Toyota for the windows, the left and a right. These are rear motors, but I think they're the same as the front ones. The front ones were gone in the car I tore apart. Uh, then I also got two uh, door lock motors. So uh, these are pretty simple. They just, let's see if I can get it. They just click, click, click. That's all they do. And, uh, you know, got the little deal there so I may use those I may not but I figured while I had the door torn apart I'd uh, take them out of there I don't know what they charged me for them uh, they only charged me for one it looks like yeah because it uh, they couldn't find the right deal so they charged me 12 bucks 13 bucks for both of them which is fine uh, that's fair but I think their price was 12 bucks for the whole lock assembly or something I didn't have that I just had the motors so there we go. There's one way. We'll reverse the polarity. Spin it the other way. I drilled out the four rivets here and uh, I'm just using an old screwdriver to uh, drive underneath this gear here. See if I can pop this thing the rest of the way out. Looks like it wants to, uh, yeah, do its thing. So then the question is, can we uh, can we get this motor in there? I don't know which side I want to use for which side. You know, there's a left and a right. I figure it'll be very apparent which side should go where. I think that's how I want it to sit. It could sit like that, I guess. It looks like it might work like that. I'm going to go ahead and grind all this crap off there so hopefully I can fit it in there. We'll see what I get. There we go, shaved down. Now for this piece, um, you know, you can see I got a little stuff standing up there and I'm kind of fitting the motor up and uh, I'm running into some uh, issues with clearance right there so I'm going to cut this little corner out and uh, see if that helps my clearance. And we'll have it. some holes for my bolts and I uh, got those in. I had to grind the head off this one uh, to get enough clearance there and it just barely clears the gears but uh, it looks like everything's in there solid so let's give it a shot here. Ooh, better get out of the way. There's that way and we'll reverse it.
don't let your meat loaf.